in this video i'm going to teach you microsoft visual basic 6.0 application previous class we were discussed about what is microsoft visual basic and what are the features in visual basic 6.0 in this video i'm going to work with visual basic 6.0 application how to adding controls and creating simple projects in visual basic 6.0 you have to install visual basic 6.0 application in your system once you have installed you have to click the start button you can see the list of programs installed in your system here you have to just expand your applications here you have to find microsoft visual studio 6.0 and then you have to click 6.0 VB uh, here you have to click uh, this icon Visual Basic 6.0 application is opening when you open Visual Basic 6.0 application this is the first window you can see here a new project and the three tabs are there new existing recent you are going to create a new project you have to click this new or already you have created some projects uh, you have stored in your system you can go for here and you have to choose the location of uh, file where you store in your system click on that and select the path you can open your previous applications okay recent you are working with some applications in VB. Uh, you can see the name of the file in recent under the recent tab. Here I am going to create new application. Here you can see more icons are there. Standard EXE, ActiveX, EXE, ActiveX, DLL. So I will explain what is these icons later. You have to click standard EXE. Just select that icon and click open. This is the primary work area we are going to design Visual Basic 6.0 application. Already we discussed what is form, what is uh, toolbox, what is um, main menu and uh, project explorer window, properties window, form light window. First two chapters I have explained about the screen interface getting started and <clears throat> what are the menus and uh, features available in visual basic 6.0 we are going to discuss chapter 3 creating and adding controls in visual basic this is the form you can see the name of the form you can see here okay here you are going to add your controls i want to give short note about <coughs> software applications software application it is used to um, reduce your work it can be any task <coughs> example we are purchasing some products and supermarkets once you completed the shopping you are going to uh, make your payment in front of bill counter when you hand over your products to make a payment the bill counter people entering the details of product in their system when they are entering the details of product and system you can see the, some menus are there they are clicking the, over the menu when you click some buttons it will show the price of the products and details of the products they are entering all the product details in that uh, system just to calculate the total bill amount the system will show all the details of the your purchase of product details and total bill amounts this is the software you can see some controls objects are there so here we are going to create software like that this is the form you are going to add your controls using the toolbox and a file we have a more uh, options are there I will explain one by one this is the primary work area you are going to design your Visual Basic 6.0 application this is the toolbox <clears throat> already explained that this is the pointer tool this is the 
picture box you want to add pictures in your project you can just click that tool drag here and place the control on form the picture box tool will come to your form you can add your pictures here and this is the label control just click on that tool drag your mouse to form area and uh, place on the form you can see the label button in your form you want to change its name just click uh, that uh, label and go to properties window and uh, here you have to see the caps and property and uh, remove the label one number one as per your requirement you can change its label name just i have entered a number okay so this is the way you have to add the controls in visual basic this is the label and uh, this is the text box text box just uh, click the tool and uh, drag over the form and uh, click on that uh, form uh, text box will come to your form so this is the way you have to add your controls objects in your form as per requirement you have to design your front-end application of our software applications so i have added three more controls in my form label picture box and text box you want to add option button you can add it here you want to uh, <clears throat> add check box you can add it here so as per requirement you can add these controls here and you can change its properties just click that tool click that sorry click that uh, object you can see its properties you can change here it's a name uh, you can just you want to delete text you can delete it here you want to change its a property of uh, styles appearance you can go for appearance flat just click it and a flat it will be so in flat formats border style you want to change its border style just click on border style property click on that none okay so as per uh, your requirement you can change its properties and you can set a data data value of its field how much value it will occupy you can set it here date formats you want to entering uh, dates here you can set your dates types and uh, other in data type formats here you can go for this one and next to next property so you can see more uh, properties here i will see later this is the command button you have to click that command button and drag here and it will come to your form command button is action button when you click a command button the system will give some results okay so this is the way you have to add controls in visual basic form okay now i am going to create a simple program in visual basic uh, i will teach you how to create a simple programs in visual basic so you uh, system will ask or oh, you want to save changes the following files no okay so i am going to create a new project file new project and then click a standard exe this is my primary work area form we want to change its background of this form go to form properties this is the properties window you can see the form one form properties and uh, you want to change its name you can change here addition add okay addition form so i have changed its a form form name i'm going to create a simple program adding two numbers so i have a uh, mentioned related name for addition and then you want to change its form properties you can change the background color back color and click that uh, back color property change it system the palettes you want to give any color the system will change your form color so and then you want to change other properties of your form fill color you can go for fill color 
can select your color ways you can as you wish you can change it here for color so system so as per your base, you can change the form background color and other properties okay. i'm going to create a simple program in vb adding two numbers the logic of this program is i'm going to enter two numbers in system the system will give result of addition of two numbers okay the logic of this program is we need two input numbers we have to get two integer numbers and i'm going to create some but uh, i'm going to click some buttons in vb the system has to produce some results this is the logic of this program addition uh, we know the operator for addition program is arithmetic operators and two integer numbers okay so i need uh, two labels for this program just click label from toolbox and place in your form take one more label click that label and place here and the text box we are going to get values from keyboard so i have to create text box to text box click the text box and place in your form so here i am going to enter two numbers number one number two okay so i want to change the label name click on that label name and you have to go label one properties and change its name change its name as number one just change the caption name of label control number number one number one and label two number two change its name number two text box i want to clear the text box when you execute this program it has to show empty so i want to remove this text box name okay so i will like run this program this is the runtime of screen when you execute your program here i have a my logic is i want to add two numbers so we are going to enter two numbers here 45 and 67 and i want to get a result of addition of these two numbers i need some buttons here okay i want to click some buttons the system has to produce some results and i have i want to see the results in one more text box so i have to create one more tools in my form again i want to take one label for result showing results displaying results i want to take one more text box and action button i will create i will click some buttons the system has to show some results command button command button is an action button when you click command button it will give some results so i'm going to i'm going to change the command button name addition add okay so i want to change label 3 caption addition and i want to clear its text box caption okay so i have completed my design of my application my logic of program is addition of two numbers i'm going to enter two numbers in runtime the system will give results of the two numbers okay just maximize it so this is the uh, simple uh, visual basic program addition of two numbers number one number two addition i'm going to enter here 45 any two number 67 and i will click add when you click add command button the system has to produce some results here okay so addition a system will produce the addition of two numbers here so for that we have to write a basic programming coding 
okay so first you have to understand here you have to complete design of your application for any software application you're going to first you have to complete your design part and then you have to write the programming parts okay so understand uh, this i have created a uh, simple form and i have added some controls in my form as per my requirements now i'm going to write programming part how to uh, write simple basic programming for addition of two numbers just you have to click on this icon just double click your mouse you will get a coding window this is the coding window in visual basic here you have to write your codings he basic codings here okay so this is the uh, you can see what are the objects what are the controls uh, placed in our form you can see the name of the controls here so we have placed label one label two label three labels and two three text boxes and one command button what are the objects available in your form you can see here and then you can uh, select this uh, tool name under the tool name you can write your programming this is the click uh, even driven even driven programming options here you can see here so we have more events are there mouse up mouse move mouse down when you you can choose any one okay a drag drag a drag over so you want to execute the program with uh, some events example mouse move when you choose mouse move when you move, move your mouse you can get your results this is the event basic is 6.0 is event driven programming here uh, you can set any events for your programming outputs so just uh, i have selected mouse move okay you'll see what will happen i'm going to write uh, bb uh, visual basic program simple programming addition of two numbers command one here you have to write simple coding for addition of two numbers text three dot text is equal to value of sorry value of text one dot text and operator value of the text two dot text yes what is this uh, statement text three dot text we have placed three text boxes i want to get result addition of two numbers in text three box i will show the form just go to project explorer window right click it view object you can see so this is the text one text two text three i have start writing my coding here just go code window text three dot text text three dot text is equal to the i am asking computer to do text three box value will be value of text one plus arithmetic operator value of text two i'm adding text one value and text two value and i'm going to add these two values i'm going to show in text three box this is my logic part of this program addition of two numbers Val, uh, value of value of is a syntax basic programming when you get some values from text but you have to use this uh, syntax value of text one is a control we have placed in the form text one dot text is a syntax text two dot is a syntax okay just change it text two dot text okay so understand text three dot text is equal to uh, will be addition of this text one dot value on text two dot value okay so i have completed the coding just to go from form, your form view object number one number two and addition okay result of uh, this uh, label shows the addition result of value text one text two text three this value will be addition of text one text two addition of this value so will be display here and 
I'm going to run my program number one four six and add button okay the system will give result of addition of these two numbers okay command button is action button when you click command button the system will produce the result of these two numbers just to close it so same programming you can write any event options key down okay key down just to copy this code copy it control x and paste it here control v exit your program maximize the screen 6 8 i have written my coding under key down Yes, you can just move your press any key in keyboard, you will get results. This will be 6.0 is the event driven programming feature. You can write your coding under any event events here. Okay, so we have uh, created simple program in Visual Basic 6.0 addition of two numbers. This is the way you have to design your form and change its properties, background color, and other the properties of that uh, controls this is the way how to uh, take controls tools from toolbox and uh, place your form understand just try in your home pc you will have uh, some doubts and uh, send your doubts to my mail and or whatsapp number i will give answer for your doubts i want to wind up uh, this session so this video we discussed about how to use Visual Basic 6.0 application and I have created a simple project in Visual Basic 6.0 addition of two numbers. We have uh, created a simple form in VB addition of two numbers and we have written a simple basic programming coding for addition of two numbers okay so i have explained this coding syntax text 3 dot text is equal to value of is the what syntax you have to use this function value of means you are getting value of text 1 and value of text 2 and adding these two uh, values we are presenting text 3 box so this is the uh, explanation of this coding and this is the even driven programming feature in VB you can set any events key press key down key up uh, when you execute your program you can uh, set any event driven programming okay I will explain and the other uh, controls features in Visual Basic just to close coding window go to form window object you can see here uh, this is the file tab edit view project format debug I will explain it one by one okay so once you have de completed design part of your application and then you have to go for your coding window here right click it and view code you will get this coding window in this area you are going to write your programming part of software applications okay and select your control label one you want to add some codings under label one control you can select it private sub label one click this is the uh, function we can say it's a segment of a function okay end sub this is the general syntax in visual basic private sub label one under click event you want to change this event you can go for drag over it will show drag over under this coding drag over events so like that you can change its events okay so next thing right click it's a view object uh, you want to run your program execute program what is uh, execution of program once we have completed design part and the coding part of the program we have to execute our program we have to get results so execution means compilation what is compilation we are in <coughs> uh, asking system to compile the program and give results compilation is the process converting your programming code into machine level language and system will check all the um, lines in programming one by one and the compiler in visual basic compiler check the lines one by one all the codings are written by as per the syntax of visual basic compiler it will check one by one 
and if there is no error system will execute program you will get your results so you want to execute the program you have to just click this play button or you have to go run here start or your file okay you will get this window this is the execute part of your programming this is the output window you can enter your values here any value and click over command button you will get your results okay i have changed the events so i will not get results so this is the way how to execute your program go run click run button start or press f5 you will get just press f5 you will get execution of window of your programming you can get your results okay just to close it this is the toolbox and the file you want to save your project or add more projects in your forms in your project you can add it save your project just to save your project select the location of your um, hard disk c drive or d drive i am going to select here h drive addition so the visual basic forms save with the dot extension of dot frm dot frm is the form okay just to say it and if it will ask you want to create any project name for yes i have created one form here you can see here i have created one form like that we are going to add in futures any other models so you can save your project any project name i am going to save this project add okay just click see my project add project source yes okay and cancel okay so you can see here my project v.vbp add project my project name is add dot vbb is a extension of file name visual basic project and i have one form in the project addition so like that in future you want to add more modules subtraction division you can add more forms right click it and here you can add it add form you can create a new form you can add new form under your addition project for you can write a coding for subtraction or division or any other arithmetic operators right there like that you can add your forms here save form again you want to save uh, form save it remove your form you just you want to remove this form you can just right click it and remove your form remove it so this is the basic uh, things we have to know in visual basic 6.0 form layout window i explained the form layout window just move the this form layout uh, screen position at this side when you execute your program you will get our output screen this side so you can set your form a screen positioning positioning in output view just if i'm going to uh, present uh, i want to place my form rate video here which i'm going to execute my program i can see in center of the screen okay so you're getting a small window when you execute your program you want to maximize it you have to change its properties so here you have to open your form window go object just to maximize it select a form and go to form properties here you can see border style you can see the maximize and window state here maximized okay change its property as maximized when you execute your program you will see a big screen okay so like that you can change its properties in visual basic so this is the uh, chapter 3 in visual basic creating and adding controls in visual basic so next class we are going to see about animations in visual basic how to add a uh, list box how to add option buttons and some how to apply some animations in visual basic project i will teach you in my next class so go through this video from start to end and uh, work uh, this program in your uh, personal computer and if you have any doubts send to me my mail or whatsapp number i will give our answers i will solve i will give a i will solve your queries so in this class we discussed about simple program visual basic creating and handling controls and uh, i have created a simple program in vb